Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this advanced PowerPoint tutorial series, you will learn how to create a ripple effect in PowerPoint. The ripple effect in PowerPoint you will learn to create looks like this. Here in this diagram, you can see the trigger and the impact of the trigger in the form of ripples. Let us create this useful illustration from scratch. I have taken a new slide and the first step is to go to Auto Shapes menu and click on this tool called as Oval Tool from Basic, Sh Basic Shapes. While holding the Shift tab, draw a small circle. This ensures, holding the Shift tab ensures that the circle is proportional. Go to Shape Fill and say No Fill. I am going to increase the thickness of this outline to say uh, 3 points. The next step is to make copies of this and uh, increase their size to form a series of concentric circles. So let us do it one step at a time. I'm going to copy this one by holding the control tab and here is the copy. Go to format tab and here you see the height and width of the circle. Now if I were to increase the height of this the width will remain the same, so it will look odd. So a better idea is to open this dialog box under the size and it will show you this option wherein you can increase the scale uh, height or width by locking the aspect ratio. So click on this lock aspect ratio and the advantage of this is say for this particular copy if I want to increase the, increase the size I can say call it have it as 0.8 and this automatically increases the size of the width as well to 0.8. So once I keep it on the on top of that one you can see that it perfectly um, is a concentric circle. So I'll make another copy here and this one let us say 1.1 is the size and let us have another copy of this. And for this, um, 1.4 is the height. And another copy. This time, 1.8. Another copy. While, sorry, get back to, okay. Another copy while I hold my control tab. And this time, say, 2.1. And maybe one last copy while I hold control tab and this time 2.4. So there we go. Now we can select all these circles using the cursor and I can have it aligned object center and object middle. These are the tools that I have taken into the quick access toolbar. If you don't have these tools in the quick access toolbar, let us go the normal way. Go to arrange. Align, Align Center, then Arrange, Align, Align Middle, and there you go, you have concentric circles. Now select them once again and press Ctrl G to group them. The next step is to tilt them in 3D angles. So I'm going to right click and go to Format Shape. When I do that, you can see the task pane opening here. And here I'm going to click on this one called Effects. If you are using 2007 or 2010, the Effects tab will pop up separately. Whereas in 2013, the pop-up menu has been integrated into this task pane. So there's not much of a difference in terms of what it does. Let us go to 3D Rotation. And in 3D Rotation, choose the presets. And I'm going to use this preset called as Off Axis 1 Top. Click on that one and if you want this to be slightly bigger, you hold the shift tab and drag the corners. Now this looks the size that I want. If you want the angle to be a little more flat, then you can go to Y rotation and click here so that your ripple effect is far more horizontal. So we are done with creating the ripple. The next step is to create the droplet. So go to 
Auto Shapes menu once again and under Basic Shapes, find this one called as Teardrop. Hold your uh, Shift tab and make this Teardrop. If this doesn't look like a Teardrop, maybe you can pull this a little bit so that it looks more like a drop. Now the angle of the fall is not really good, so we need to rotate it slightly. We want to make sure that the angle is perfect, so let us go to Format and this drop down menu so that I can have the rotation as minus 45 degrees. Now there it is, it is perfectly vertical. I'll hold my Shift tab and shrink the size because this is the size of a drop so go to home shape outline and no outline now when i keep this here it looks like this droplet is creating this trigger so that is how you create a ripple effect in powerpoint let me show you some examples of ripple effects taken from our powerpoint ceo packs this illustration shows how small changes trigger small ripple and the big strategic changes have bigger impact. The next one is about the key decision and its impact on the various levels of management. So this is the impact of senior management and this is the impact on middle management and this one on the first level management. This is the impact on frontline. We have used these very beautiful chess icons to indicate different levels in an organization. This is another diagram which shows the impact of key decision on the front line, first level management, middle level management, senior management, etc. Just different variations of a particular idea. If you want to create professional looking graphics, professional looking slides, but you don't want to waste time creating your graphics and diagrams from scratch, you can always check out our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. You can visualize just about any business idea using the templates from the CEO packs. Hope you like this tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are more than 500 plus original articles and tutorials to help you improve PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.